Hey guys, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. So a few days ago, I have put a community post on my channel and a lot of you guys have voted for Windows 11 optimization guide. So we all know Windows 11 came a while ago and it has been released in a stable version. But there are still many bugs which decreases the quality and performance of your windows while gaming and even doing simple tasks like recording screen, recording games or doing simple tasks like editing. So in this video today, I have brought you guys the best most optimal guide for optimizing your windows 11 for the max performance and optimizations in gaming. So watch this video till the end. Also 96% of you guys aren't yet subscribed to the channel. So please consider subscribing and with all that said, let's roll the intro. Before moving ahead, I want to let you guys know about this video's sponsor, Driver Booster 9. This application allows you to scan your outdated drivers. It's not humanly possible to find and update each and every driver, yet every driver needs to be updated for best Windows performance. So you guys can go to the link in the description below, free download Driver Booster 9. So once you're on the site like this, simply click on free download and install the app. Alright, so once driver booster loads up, all you need to do is search for scan and it will take a while scanning all of your outdated drivers. Once it finds the outdated drivers, you guys can see it over here. Simply click on update now and let it update the drivers. Aside from finding outdated drivers, it also allows you to boost your system. Also, it has some tools like backup and restore. If your PC has no sound, it can fix it. It fixes device errors. It also has many new features such as clean invalid device data, uh, fix network failure and fix bad resolution. Also, it helps you to update drivers offline and also shows you system information. If you have the pro version, you can update all of the drivers in a single click. So first 100 downloaders from the link in the description below will get 6 month free pro in Driver Booster 9. So go check it out. Alright, so drivers are really necessary for performance in Windows. So the previous step shown in the video was for drivers. So if you guys have skipped it, go check it out. Once you've updated your drivers, next thing is go into settings, search for apps and then in here, share across devices, just keep it off. Then you need to search for all of the apps you have installed on your PC and then simply uninstall the ones that you don't use. For me, better net for Windows, I don't use it, so just uninstall it. Just make sure to keep as less programs as you use because you guys know that um, programs consume your storage and also memory. So if you find programs that you don't need anymore, just simply right click and uninstall them off your PC. Then go back to apps and then go for optional features. In here, you need to find the features such as Notepad, you use it, Microsoft Quick Assist, Math Recognizer, you don't use it, so simply uninstall it. Internet Explorer mode, you don't use it, simply uninstall it. Microsoft Quick Assist, don't remove the ones you don't know about like printer management or print management, you don't use it, simply uninstall. Windows Fax and Scan, you don't use it, so just remove it. Steps Recorder, you don't use it, simply remove it. Also, Windows Media Player, uh, well, I use it, but many of you guys don't use it, so uninstall it as well. Don't go for the PowerShell, yeah, the Hello Face, you don't need it, just uninstall it. Uninstall the ones that you don't require, keep the ones that you know about and you require. Then go back to apps over here, and then you have apps for websites. Now in here, uh, if you find any apps that is not being used by your browser or the ones you don't want to allow to be used by your browser, simply remove them. Next over here, search for updates and uh, then click on Windows update settings over here and then make sure that check for updates and you have always the latest updates in the next two months because Windows is constantly optimizing for the new users to be more optimal so just make sure if you have any left updates over here simply install the updates next over here is game mode simply search for game mode and then over here enable game mode this is highly controversial because many of you guys say that it decreases the performance and many of you guys say it increases the performance so just keep it on and off see how it performs for you guys and then keep it nextly is the graphic settings and this is mainly for gaming 
over here you'll find all of your games listed in here if you don't find it you can simply click on browse and add the games the best part of windows 11 is that it automatically adds your apps in here so say city skylines just click on options and then use high performance and then click on save so just do all of these settings to the apps that you played you regularly use keep it on your gpu Next up is the Windows 11 optimization pack. And for all those guys who have been saying me, keep it simple, keep it minimal. So this time I have made a super simple optimization pack. It has just three files. The first one is ISLC. I'm pretty sure all of you guys know about it from my previous videos. Just open ISLC and if you guys can't open it, it's generally in the uh, app bar of your um, Windows. So simply double click and then open it up. To use it, I'll show you guys how to use it. So the list size should be set to 1024 for the free memory is lower than. Keep it to the installed memory of your system. If you guys don't know about it, simply press system information and in the system summary, you guys will see your installed physical memory. I have 16 GB over here. Multiply 16 with 1000, it will give you the values in megabytes. It's roughly around 16,000 megabytes, so just set it over here. For wanted timer resolution, keep it 0.50. And for the ISLC polling rate, if you guys have a medium and or low end PC, keep it to 500. If you have a good PC, keep it to 1000. Then click on purge standby list and then start. And then minimize it and let it run in the background. Next application is Optimizer 10.7. We'll get to it, but first, the Quick CPU. This is the setup file for Quick CPU. Simply install it and then search for Quick CPU. It will take a while opening it up, but once you are here for the system power plan, scroll it all the way down and then select high performance or ultimate performance if you guys see in over here. Also, if you have installed driver booster 9, you'll also see driver booster power plan. So just keep the driver booster power plan over here and then click on set as active. Also, just make sure to keep all of the core parking, frequency scaling, turbo boost and performance to 100%. Make sure that it is utilizing all of your CPU cores because it gives you the maximum output. Then click on apply. Also, go over to memory and then click on clean, regularly clean this while opening up the games because, you know, it works like a charm. Then close them up, close them up, you don't need quick CPU anymore. Last but not the least is the optimizer 10.7. Simply open it up and this is a super simple application. Instead of the registries I've been providing till now, optimizer does all of the job in one single application. As soon as you open the app up, you'll see an interface like this. Now over here you have the enable performance tweak, simply enable it, disable network throttling, just make sure to not disable windows defender, you can also disable smart screen, disable system remote, disable error reporting, telemetry tasks, also disable 2016 office cause I have 2020, disable v uh, visual studio telemetry, print service, fax service, media, player sharing, disable sticky keys, disable home groups, disable super fetch, disable uh, compatibility assist and also disable both of these things as well if anything is giving problem in the app just find the app which is being troubled by this and then simply go and enable the ones that you're using then go to windows 11 over here uninstall onedrive and also disable xbox live disable spell checking you guys want to need it after gaming so i highly recommend you guys to turn it on okay disable my people because you don't need it um also we have the um, windows inc we don't need it um, we have the enhanced privacy you can enhance it up you can exclude drivers from update just don't do this um, disable automatic updates just don't do it uh, disable insider service um, disable game bar remove cast to drives disable sensor service disable cortana and also uh, you can make your taskbar smaller apparently so i don't know how it works but it works oh we also have a line taskbar to the left that's nice. Disable sna uh, snap assist. Disable widgets. Disable chat. Uh, enable uh, classic right. Uh, nah, just don't do it. 
um, that's all that's all you have to do over here then um, just go to startup and these are all of your startup apps uh, select the one that you don't need I highly suggest guys don't do it from here simply control shift and escape then go to startup over here and disable the apps that you don't need while booting up because your application starts consuming memory as soon as the system boosts up so just disabling those apps while startup will save a lot of memory allowing your PC to run at the maximum potential you also have a cleaner over here it cleans all of your uh, files it cleans your cache your cookies your history um, everything over here so I don't recommend doing this just go with um, history over here and then rest of them you guys can go for the cache and as you guys can see maximum size can be free is 32.223 GB also clean the recycle bin and then click on clean and that's how you are going to clean a lot of things from your PC and don't worry this is completely safe it's gonna save a lot of memory on your PC so once you're done with optimizer just close it and I recommend you guys keep using it on a regular basis it's a really great app all right once you're done with that last step is suppress your windows key and then search for adjust you'll find adjust the appearance and performance of windows simply click on it and then over here go with adjust for best performance select this one show thumbnails instead of icons and then click on apply you're gonna see big changes improvements in your pc's performance right from this step as well so those are all the steps to improvise your performance of windows 11 i hope this guide has helped you do check out Driver Booster 9. They have been giving uh, amazing deals at their software, and it's really, you know, you guys can use the software for free as well. So it has a lot of benefit. Download Driver Booster 9 from the link in the description below. Also, I have made two videos on RAM optimization as well as CPU optimization on my channel. So if you guys are facing trouble optimizing your RAM for gaming and CPU for gaming, you guys can watch these videos as well. I'll be leaving a link to both of them in the description below as well as the pinned comments down below. So make sure you guys go check this out and with all that said we have reached the end of this video i hope this video has helped you out if it did make sure to do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel we are really close to 50k subscribers and i believe in all of you guys we'll see you guys in the next video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out